outlet. Yeah, the FBI arrested him yesterday and he just faced a judge this afternoon. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm John Carter in for Jamie Bull. And I'm Molly Grantham. We're glad you're here. WBTV was the first to break these disturbing allegations against Jeffrey Hobgood last night. And new since then, our chief investigative reporter, Nick Oxner, was the only reporter in court as Hobgood faced a judge in Winston-Salem. Nick. Jeffrey Hobgood's first court appearance here at the federal courthouse in Winston-Salem lasted less than 10 minutes. He was walked in by U.S. Marshals in a blue jail jumpsuit, his hands cuffed, his legs shackled, and for the first time read the criminal charge outlining what the FBI says he did. An agent with the FBI filed this criminal complaint outlining threats Hobgood reportedly sent to the Jewish Federation of Greater Charlotte. The document details two emails, one sent last Wednesday and the other Friday of last week. According to the court document, the first email started with, quote, Israeli Jews of David Starr, I'm going to take every one of you out in a way that is your highest displeasure tenfold. That email was forwarded to police, the court document says. Officers went to ask Hobgood about the email, but he reportedly told them that the email was, quote, none of their business. Then another email came on Friday, according to the court complaint, saying in part, quote, do you really think the United States of America is going to let you people suck us dry? Fat chance. Guess what happens to traitors? Now, Hobgood's court appearance today was just a preliminary hearing. He will remain in jail at least until next week when a judge will decide whether or not to release him on conditions and where he'll for the first time enter a plea of guilty or not guilty. For now, reporting at the federal courthouse in Winston-Salem, Nick Oxner, WBTV. On your